government has launched a 3.5 billion shilling agricultural value chain enterprise project that aims at increasing the productivity and incomes of 500,000 smallholder farmers across 12 counties in five years. Our Nyanza reporter Fredo Molo has all those details. The mega project that will channel approximately 700 million shillings to smallholders in eastern and western regions of the country marks an expansion of USAID's activity in Kenya beyond health and education. It will touch the entire value chain including service providers, producers, traders, processors, retailers and exporters. This program, CAVES, will support the Kenyan government's plan to engage more youth on the land to help them find opportunity in agriculture and in agriculture related value change. USAID will also work with county governments with the overall aim of commercializing farm production at the household level to increase incomes with a bias for staples, dairy production, and horticulture. It is therefore our task to take the nascent steps of growing the necessary crops and putting up the cooling plants so as to take advantage of the existing infrastructural facilities. The Carvest project is part of President Obama's Feed the Future initiative which aims at reducing hunger, poverty and undernutrition with Kenya being one of the 19 countries in which the program is underway. It is therefore important for farmers to shift from subsistence production and start focusing on commercialization of production in order to tap into this potential. Some of the counties set to benefit from the project include Transoya, Wasengishu and Nandi in Rift Valley, Bungoma, Busia and Kakamega in Western, Homa Bay, Kisumu and Migori in Nyanza, as well as Meru, Tharaka Nithi, Machakos and Makweni in Eastern. For KTN Business, I am Fredo Mulong.